So, uh, Surinda Arora uh, is an Indian businessman who has been doing extraordinary things with hotels since the early part of this century. So he bought the Sofitel uh, hotels in London, Gatwick and Heathrow, converted them, and they became these amazing things, particularly for airline staff, and he's become a multi-million uh, billionaire uh, on, on the back of that chain. He also built the hotel, which was then used for the signing of the Brexit Windsor Agreement in Windsor. And that has now come under the eye of the Runnymede Borough Pound, uh, Council, who have said that the hotel company have until the 7th of October to take action, uh, the Fairmount Windsor Park Hotel, um, and either pull it down or ensure that unauthorised building work complies fully with the terms of the planning permission. And that that's extraordinary. It's extraordinarily embarrassing, both for the company, for Surinda Aurora himself, and for the, the government, particularly Chris Heaton-Harris, who was signing that Windsor framework uh, and solving so many months of trade and border disputes in Northern Ireland and the foot dragging of the DUP. Not that the, that foot dragging has got any less uh, entrenched. The foot dragging has only continued. Anyway, uh, Sarinda Aurora says that we're truly sorry for the mistakes made during the construction of the Fairmont Windsor Park. It was a highly challenging construction site being developed in the middle of the COVID-19 pandemic. We are now constructively engaging with Runnymede Council and other local stakeholders to find mutually acceptable solutions to the planning concerns that have been raised. The hotel is a fantastic property. We want to ensure it continues serving the local area and bringing significant economic benefits to Runnymede. He's extremely proud of it, blah, blah, blah. And I have no doubt it's not going to be pulled down. It would be absurd to pull down a hotel of this size and stature simply because it hasn't met all the paperwork. And it seems to have a good enough excuse given the fact that so much was done during the COVID pandemic. However, it is an appalling oversight, an embarrassment and um, a something about which our government, the Runnymede Council and the Aurora chain should be supremely shameful.